back to another episode with the DPE News Anchor Team. Today is February 23rd. My name is Leslie De La Rosa, and as usual, here we are with Malcolm and our Zoom norms. Malcolm, you know what to do. If you're Zoom norm, one, camera's on. Two, you gotta be stay, you gotta stay silent. And three, if you can't see your face, then you gotta go. And that's on that. To do. Thank you, Malcolm. We are well into the school year now. You guys already know the drill. Just do what you need to do. Next up, we have Jeffrey with our current events recap for the day. There wasn't really much that happened over the weekend, but what I can say is that you guys should send prayers over to the people in Texas who were witnessing extreme weather conditions. Yeah, thank you. Back to you, Leslie. Thank you, Jeffrey. We really appreciate it. Next up, we have Anosa with our birthday shoutouts and National Day of Recognitions. Happy birthday to Ezia and Noah. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday to all of you guys. Thank you, and thank you so much, Anosia. Next up, we have Keith with some self-care tips for you all. Hey, guys. It's Keith here, and today I'm bringing you self-help tip number 10. Today, we're going to be talking about how and when to take breaks. A lot of us get stressed from the day-to-day -day activities that we do, whether it's work, school, or some other thing. Taking breaks is essential if you want to improve your productivity and get some rest. If you feel like you're being overworked or you're overwhelmed from something related to school or work, it's essential that you take a break. Breaks help you recharge and recuperate after all of the stress that you've probably accumulated from all of the hard work that, you, that you've done. The, important, the great thing about breaks is that you can take them anytime. However, the only issue is that you shouldn't misuse breaks or take too many breaks because that will make you lazy. See you guys next time with self-help tip number 11. And I hope you guys enjoyed your break. Thank you, Keith. If you guys use these tips, make sure to let him know. And now we have our new segment to help kick off Black History Month. It's called This Day in History, Black History Style. February 23rd, 1965, Constance Baker Moley is elected Manhattan Borough President, which was the highest elective office held by a black woman in a major American city. The first African-American woman appointed to a federal judgeship in the United States, Constance Baker Moley, born in 1921, has repeatedly blazed the new tra trails for women in the judiciary and as well as in politics. Constance Baker Moley led a distinguished career as both a civil rights attorney and a jurist on the federal bench, representing the voice of both minorities and women during her decades as practicing attorney. She has also addressed the rights of these same groups from her position on the U.S. District Court of New York State. An energetic, dedicated woman who has devoted her life to the practice of law, she has transcended many stereotypes leveled against members of her sex, earning a reputation as somewhat uncompromising jurists with a little patience for lawyers who overstep their bounds. Upon receiving the Distinguished Alumna Award from Columbia Law School's Women Association, Molly was cited as a symbol of success at the time when there was an enormous discrimination against women and even more against black women. Wow, those were a lot of amazing facts. If you guys have any more questions about the facts that we research, make sure to reach out to Miss Anello or me personally. Thank you guys and have an amazing day.